and welcome to our video demonstration on measuring temperature. Under the overall expectation, understanding matter and energy, the properties of and changes in matter for grade five, the specific curriculum expectation number 2.2 .2 is to measure temperature using an appropriate instrument such as a thermometer. We will be focusing on the difference between measuring hot and cold temperatures with non-standard units of measurement using a homemade thermometer. Students will be asked to complete a PEOE chart as they observe the demonstration. The materials needed for this demonstration are an empty soft drink bottle, water, both hot and cold, food coloring, a clear drinking straw, modeling clay or Play-Doh, an index card, tape, a pen or pencil, and two large bowls or tubs. When preparing and presenting this experiment, it is important to be mindful and aware of the hot water that is being used. Only the teacher should handle this in order to avoid accident or burns. Students should be asked to stand a safe distance away from the demonstration and to wear safety goggles in the event that water may be splashed. Getting started, have your hot and cold water ready in their own tubs and your materials at hand. Ask the students, what do we already know about how water reacts to warmer and cooler temperatures? Do you think the food coloring will change how the water reacts? Why or why not? Why might it be important to record the water level at room temperature? Does anyone know what room temperature is in degrees? So at this point, you're going to record where your water level is at room temperature on your straw and then on your index card. So you can see our water level is just right there and that's where we're going to mark room temperature. Awesome. And so at this point, you can have your students record their predictions and their PEOE charts as to which way the water in the straw will move, either up or down from its original point. Place the glass jar, your thermometer, in the tub of hot water and ask the students, what do you think will happen when we place our thermometer in warmer hot water? What do you observe happening now that our thermometer is in hot water? So, so now that we waited a couple minutes, the water level has risen just to right below the tape, so I'm going to mark that for H for hot water. And now you can ask the students, why do you think the water level rises in warm water? Why do you think it's important for us to record where the water level ends up on the straw? Why is it important for this experiment? So now you can have your students record their observations after the, placing the thermometer in hot water. They can write it in their PEOE chart. Next, you're going to place the thermometer in the tub of cold water. So now that we've waited a couple minutes, our water level has gone just below room temperature and that's where we're gonna mark a C for cold water. So at this point, you can ask the students what they observe happening now that their thermometer is in the cold water and why they think the water level drops when it's in cooler water. At the end of the experiment, go through the scientific explanation with the students. Introduce the term thermal energy, which is defined as the total energy of the particles in an object, as per the cool science experiment, and ask students what they think is happening to the molecules, if they are expanding or contracting. So at this point, you're going to ask students, what's the difference between expanding and contracting? If they already know, that's great. If they don't, you're going to explain that when molecules are heated they move closer or they move farther apart and faster and that's why we observed a rise in water level in our straw above room temperature when we placed it in the hot water container when we placed it in the cold water container the molecules started to move slower and closer together and that's why they lowered in water level and that's why we have our mark just be below our room temperature an extension piece that you can add to this experiment would be to place your thermometer in a sunny spot by a window and ask the students what they think will happen. Will the sunlight have the same effect as the warm water or will it remain the same as room temperature? Thanks for watching our demonstration.